Be sure and tell them Lord Mars sent ya. <laughs> In the 90s, we were just teeny tights. We went to movies and our bikes. We wanted to be DJs, but we were just teeny gals. So we went off to college and we remained. Hey guys, welcome to the Large Marge Sent Us Podcast, your favorite podcast where two sweetie sisters talk about movies that shape their childhood. I'm Sweetie. And I'm Sweetie. Double feature today, <laughs> guys. Double feature. Mean, like, but you don't know that. <laughs> it's true. Yes, today, wow, we watched two movies back to back. Well, we watched one, did a podcast, watched another, and did a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Yeah, we've tried to do this a few times and it hasn't worked yet, so I'm really proud of us. Um, Yeah. But it didn't work again. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Well, no, but I mean, it did. But so, okay. So we are now over, well, no, we've watched Willow successfully and Pippi successfully. Yeah. But... The Little, Little Mermaid, Mermaid Brave Little Toaster, and The Rescuers Down Under were no goes on yep. the DVD yep. player, guys. Oh, man. So that's two for five. Okay. See, I'm not good with numbers or odds. It's like, I'm yeah. terrible at it. Um, dang. It sucks. But as luck would have it, this movie is available to watch on YouTube. I suggest you get your butts there before they take it off and watch it stat because it's the cutest fucking movie in the world that is all do we say what it was not yet <laughs> the movie was the, the brave, brave little toaster, toaster. Do, do, do. yeah so uh 1987 yes y'all 1987 um what people have called pre pixar for a couple reasons mm-hmm. um it's sad as fuck like what the hell is going on with this movie i will say this right now think of the movie toy story 3 this is that movie five times over because that end scene happens again and again it's very sad uh number two giving real life qualities to things that aren't real otherwise known as inanimate inanimate objects yes number three there's like one sweet little person involved John Lasseter. What? <laughs> no. In the, in the movie, like there's one real human involved and all the little things are like after like love yes, that human. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, number four. John Lasseter. John Lasseter. <laughs> Who started Pixar? Yeah. I think he's like one of the, or he's been involved in like most of the Pixar movies. Uh it had something to do with this one. So, yeah. And the number A113, which is like in every Pixar movie, is oh like God. an Easter egg. His name is The Apartment what? in New York. That is cool. So everyone like, points to that as clear evidence. But yeah. it's true. And this is very Toy Story-like. Right. Yeah. Um, obviously not as... Um, put together i guess and like polished but yeah there's it feels so, like a first draft yeah there's so much about it that you're just like oh man yeah um so for us i think and i guess i can only speak for myself but um again another movie just it's a disney movie so shown on the disney channel all the time um and it's an adorable freaking film again okay number f- what were we on <laughs> five for pixar relations one you could easily watch this like up through your whole life. Yeah. I mean, it's exciting to kids and there's parts that relates to children and then there's also like some great, a little bit more higher up jokes mm-hmm. for the, the adults to pick up on. 
and it's just so it's such an emotional movie and i remember being so emotional about it as you know a seven-year-old six-year-old seven-year-old and then times 25 when you're older because like you actually know what loss is (laughs) (laughs) i cried (laughs) long story short i cried (laughs) surprise to nobody um yes but and i think that the thing that's different about Toy Story is that it's toys and that makes sense to me that like break from where like you have your toys and then you grow older and you don't need your toys anymore but this is like a this pl- is reverse like, do you need a lamp well don't you think this is reverse because my thing was like why was the guy so attached to the damn vacuum <laughs> right that's what I'm saying like would I be like I have to take the family vacuum right. to college damn I love that vacuum like, no one has a vacuum in yeah. college I so like that part yes and if this is was kind of a first draft of Toy Story say that makes total sense to me how it evolved to toys because they were like well but I also feel like the master was like a goober though so he like would totally like love his appliances and have this like weird like guess, need to keep them around like, because even the girlfriend is like dude get a fucking new toaster that was busted get over it go out he's like no else. like I can't get a new toaster like whenever I make a funny face into it it pops out my toes. If anything, I mean, I understand the blanket the most, yeah. right? Because you like, a it's, blanket's if you like, yeah, and when you're little, your blanket is like your thing. Yeah. If you, unless you have a stuffed animal named Spot, like I did, then that's your thing. Yeah. But still do. Hey, Spot, what's up? Um, like so, spot skin now. <laughs> listen, leave Spot alone. <laughs> um, and your suit. <laughs> <laughs> It's great. It's great. Um, anyways, yes, this movie is sweet, but it's so dark, dark, and like heavy on the like adult themes. Like, there's literally a car that commits suicide at the end <laughs> because he doesn't want to be a car anymore. Like, it's it gets dark, you guys. And it, there's songs, which is okay. Sure, like I love songs. Yeah. Um, most of them are not uh like t- humble like i i don't remember yeah. the tunes of most of them except for the last Correct. one which sweetie totally forgot about until i started singing a few bars oh of God, of so one good. part That's she was really like laughing her, <laughs> her pants <laughs> off she loved it so much it reminded me of almost like like she works hard for the money it's or something, something. It's like something. it's some other song yeah. from like that time period <laughs> Yeah, it's totally ripped off of something else, but I love that song. Um, but yeah, it's super sweet. Uh, I have a little problem with the title because I feel like, yes, okay, I guess the Brave Little Toaster, yes, very brave at the end there, jumps in the wheels of the thing and, and does that. But I feel like that's like a disservice to all the other appliances. It was so collaborative. It, it was. Like, it really and was. And I thought that's like kind of the theme to the movie, and right? Like none of them could do it alone. They like yes. all had to work right. together because they each brought different skills. Right. So why wouldn't they name the movie like The Brave, the brave Appliances? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rewrite. I, kind of I mean, she is kind of like the center and leads the whole charge and really had like like the closest connection maybe other than the blanket to the master right even though like the lamp told a story but like i think her connection was like but of all of the appliances i like the toaster the least yeah (laughs) i agree she just just, has less of a personality oh and i'd like to point out that whether or not the toaster is a male or female is like a hot button topic um, a lot of debate on this. A lot of debate. I see her as female. I'm Sweetie sorry. Sweetie Caesar is female. I see him as male. So. And maybe that's just simple because it's like voiced by a woman. But I just like feel like her person. I pers- just always thought it was I a guy. I think her personality just feels womanly to me. They refer to him as a he and well, like stuff like that. But I don't so, believe in well, gender. Well, I'm doing he and you can do she and everybody can just be well, confused Well, also about they're it. fucking appliances. So I think this is a genderless world, Right. I, I they guess. don't paint them like that, but right, like, right, right, right. but you could just say, "Are do they have sexes?" I don't think. Yeah. So. Um, but yes. But yeah, I think the toaster's kind of a downer. He's always like, "Come on, guys, let's do chores," and no one wants to. She's and, just like, trying to pass the time. They're so well, bored. I think he's lame. <laughs> Okay. You know what? <laughs> Just kidding. He's I'm very sweet. Here. He grows on me at the end. <laughs> yeah, he um, should. It's a brave little and toaster. I, I, yeah. And w- w- they're all great, but yeah, definitely the blanket's the cutest. Sorry. No competition there. Um, um, yeah. Well, let's let's go into the synopsis um, before we just talk like too many okay. details. But um, yeah. Guys, it's time for the <laughs> sweetie synopsis. Yeah. Sweeties. 
I was in the Indy 500. <laughs> I brought a Texan to a wedding. I don't remember any actual lines from this film. Actually, I wrote down a couple. I could have used one of these. Look at this. Ready? Yep. Really thought I turned in my warranty that time. Why don't you just turn off? <laughs> you low watts. <laughs> You'll be the first to go, dial face. I loved all the appliance. Puns. It's, it's it's like, well, they're all like the the lamp has like a zillion like lamp pl- puns for days. It's yeah. like so great. Slot face, slot face. They call the little toaster slots, and I was like slots like, with a weird slots. accent. She's a um, loose toaster. Her slots are loose. Lo- yeah. <laughs> big. There you go. All Wide right. slots. All right, I'm getting into the synopsis <laughs> now. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna water my lawn now. Um. <clears throat> Toaster, <laughs> no last name, uh, blanket, lamp, radio, and Kirby the vacuum. <laughs> Named are... for a specific model of vacuum. Yes, yes. When I was little, I was always like, why does he yeah. have a real name and nobody else That was does? not apparent. Um, pretty funny, though. Uh, these I think his name should have been Vacary. I think it should have been <laughs> s- uh, Suckatash, Sucker, <laughs> Sucker, Suck, Suck. Um, so... Vax. <laughs> Sweet Vax. Vaccination. Cat heart attack. <laughs> what? Because cats hate vacuums. <laughs> Good one. Um, yeah, so these appliances are all holed up in a family cottage in the countryside somewhere. They've been there for estimate 2,000 days, <laughs> says Kirby the Vacuum. You do the math. <laughs> um, don't, can't do the math, but I guess it's a long time. They used to go up to the cottage every summer. They obviously don't anymore. The appliances pass the time by cleaning the cottage, which is really nice. Um, I'm If like they came, they're probably like, we never have to clean this cottage. It's so magical. It just stays clean. And I'm like, listen... You should tip your appliances. <laughs> I know. It's really a lot nice of work on the only side. one of them is an actual clean yeah. device. Right. The toaster doesn't need to be cleaning yeah, things. So, so blanket. Good for them. Please. Um, so they start getting sad. And then the air conditioner is like mean to them one day. And then <laughs> short you circuits. Know, evil air conditioners. Yeah. And um, they decide that the master's probably never coming back. And they're really upset about well, they, that. And they, uh, uh, someone comes and nails a for sale sign oh, to the lawn. Right, 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 right. So they put two and two oh, together. Right. They panic. And so they're like, we got to get out of here. So they decide to go on a crazy adventure to the city where the, the master lives. Um, they've never been outside. They don't know what's going on out there, but they do it anyway. So they get a chair and the vacuum pulls them. They take a generator with them and they're off. They're off into the wilderness. Mm-hmm. And this is like legit wilderness. Like the, the vacuum is going on the grass. Oh yeah. Uh, His bag is full trees. of stuff. There's grass. Wildlife. And honestly, like I don't remember this part at all. I didn't, this was like totally right. new to me. I guess I like only remember the part like once they get to the city mm-hmm. or no, w- the, like the appliance yeah. shop. And then, um, and then once they get into the yeah. city, because th- this part felt did felt like really long, yeah. and it just kind of random, and they're like constantly just like going through, and there's these dark woods, and then they come upon this song, this scene that took way too long, which was with the one with all the frogs and the fish and everything, and it was like really cute, and again like basically Finding Nemo, like before there was Finding Nemo, um, and it's adorable, but I was like, oh my god, what is the point of this? Except that really sad scene where he like disses the flower. And then the flower starts like losing his petals and he feels really guilty. But then just walks away. I'm but like, then that's what? why he's nice to blanket. You changed the toaster to he. So I just want to point that that's out. Why she, uh. That's why she was nice to blanket. <laughs> that's why it was nice to blanket. <laughs> it. Good one. Uh, yeah, that scene is that that's scene why is Z strange. was nice to blanket. <laughs> Z? That's like the new like non-gender oh, conforming. Was, like, sigh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I've been reading that wrong this whole time. Oh, I think it was Z. Like she, he, Z. Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, you know, I never understand things. So, um, yeah, that I agree. That that's that was long. They were in the woods for a long time, and I feel like every time they came to a spooky woods like five times, <laughs> and every time they were like <gasps> spooky woods. Um, right. And there's all these like basically the whole movie is just them getting to these like disaster situations yeah. that someone has to like sacrifice themselves or like to it, the waterfalls. Yeah, and, the, the, yeah. Like they all fall in the waterfall. At one point, they lose the battery, so then the lamp has to get struck by lightning to like recharge the battery because that's the power that makes the vacuum turn on um, so it's like thing after thing here and like they get that sucked you know 
sucked into the quick mud. Oh my, <laughs> quick mud. Yeah. So they almost all die, and they're like, "Bye, everyone!" And you're like, oh, "What?" Oh my god. Okay, the part then. Okay. <laughs> The part where the blanket is oh, like, yeah. he's like, so the, the toasters to the little blanket is like, try to like untie yourself because they were all attached with like the wires to each other. They're wires to each other. And um, and she, and she's like, try to get away, blanket. And he goes, I'm not scared. <laughs> oh, fucking blanket is just like so cute. killing me. He's killing me. Um, but as luck would have it, a fat appliance store <laughs> owner in a monster chop truck, shop. Comes, a chop, chop shop, shop comes by at just the right moment and pulls them all out and is excited to have got a treasure trove of appliances <laughs> in this mud. Weird situation, right? You're like, sweet, a radio, oh which is God. attached to a lamp, which is attached to a a, a blanket which would be so muddy and gross like why would you keep that <laughs> all of that shit like would it still work That's I don't a, know was, they also went through a waterfall this, so this is the miracle thing with them like nothing stuck they were they would have been looking as dirty as hell yeah. like the vacuum sucking up twigs and stones and grass I can't even and I mean sticks we sucked up kitty litter with our vacuum yeah. and it broke so <laughs> I mean it was only ten dollars from Target but that thing broke <laughs> yeah I don't believe it um so unrealistic yeah uh, no, but so they go to this trap shop and then they, they're kind of excited. They're like, well, he seems OK. And then all these like scary appliances are like, yeah, you think he's OK. Just wait. <laughs> I have lip, I have lips and I'm a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> it's so scary. Yeah. And so, yeah, yeah. So that's when they learned it's a chop shop. It's a Jap shop. So basically people come in like, I need a new motor for my blender. Uh, sorry. Just the same guy comes yeah. in and he's a whack <laughs> he's one job. Customer. And so what happens is, like, so he gets a customer who needs a random part. So he goes into the back and he has all these appliances and he gets, takes the part out of them. So he like actually like sacrificed his own blender, cut up his own blender to like which, sell a part. Which he literally just used a second before yeah. to make a marshmallow smoothie. <laughs> no, question it was mark? a gray smoothie. <laughs> no, he ate the marshmallows as like a snack, but I don't know what was in that smoothie, but it was gray, <laughs> people. It was gray. Uh, so... Yeah, so they freak out and they're like, we got to get out of here. And then the radio almost gets taken because that same guy comes back. He's like, yeah, well, you did such a good job on that blender motor. My wife wants to know if you got any radio tubes. (laughs) Tubes, like so random. So funny. And then every time he comes in because like all the appliances hide, he's like, now what did I do with that radio? (laughs) And it, yeah, and it's funny because that like is a very human thing, right? To be like, oh, I must have misplaced it because like I hate you. I hate when I can't find something and I know it's there. And it's so sweet to think that the appliance was just <laughs> running away from you. Um, so they end up creating like um, freaking out the appliance guy, pretending to be like a ghost, and he pass. He like hits his head and then passes out. So they all escape. And then all the appliances from the store escape like out the wall. The refrigerator like runs out. They go out. The dog's like, I'm out of here. Gets in the monster truck and like hightails it the out. The dog knows how to drive the monster truck. Very cool. But my favorite thing was like, I said, in sweetie, in that scene, I was like, um, wouldn't the customer be like, what the fuck is happening here? Like, so, but, he, but he just goes, yeah. well, should I come back later or what? <laughs> like, was this a bad time? This a bad time? All your appliances just. Dude came alive and ran out of here. Dude was a drug addict. Yes, he was yeah. on drugs. He had like no teeth. He was a meth. And his head. hair was like all over the place. <laughs> Radio totally, tubes. Totally. That's for making drugs. And I know it. <laughs> Crack pipe. Yes. Oh man. Okay. Crazy. We solved it. Solved that mystery. Yep. Um so yeah, so then they get out. Now they have a nice baby carriage that they stole from the shop so they can get to the city. They're almost there. Meanwhile, switch to the city where the master a grown man named Rob off to college named what Rob ah, named Rob um, he's like packing up to go to college and he's like I can't go to college without my vacuum <laughs> can't go to college without my lucky toaster <laughs> <laughs> so he's like I'm going to the cabin the cottage to go get them and we're like oh fuck like what bad timing right this is so Shakespearean it's like <laughs> the timing kills me they're literally crossing the street in the baby carriage and Chris Rob's girlfriend slash 
beard because I think that she's a lesbian. <laughs> I think um, Chris comes out in college by <laughs> hooking up with other girls. I'm going to just say that. Just throwing it out there. Uh, they literally cross paths like at that moment. And you're like, God damn it. Ugh. So, but the appliances make it to the city. They find a phone book because they know his name, which is nice. And I feel like they should just call him that because Master is very creepy. Yes. Um, <laughs> and vaguely, it's slavery and other yeah. other things. It's bad. Um, and so they look him up. This was back in the day when the phone book had your address next creepy. to it. All uh, Back to the Future. Uh, where's Riverside at Drive? Mm-hmm. It's a half black. It's a black block, block, block past block maple. maple. Block past Maple. That's John F. Kennedy Drive. Who the hell is John F. Kennedy? Okay, wow. just needed to I quoted that in two podcasts re- today. That's amazing. <laughs> I know. Good Never one. does. Uh, so they get to the apartment, and the appliances are already hate them because they overheard that the gut, the master wants to take his old appliances to college, and they're like, "Why does it, why doesn't he want us? We're not good enough for him. We're awesome. We're high yeah. tech." So they're right. pissed already, and and they are awesome, but they're also all New Yorkers, which is and like psychopaths. Cram- apparent in this because they all have kind of New York accents. Some there's a sewing machine oh from Long Island. I love the sewing machine. <laughs> Oh my god, look at that blanket. It's so dirty. I don't even want to... Oh, it's so disgusting. It makes me nauseous. But then um, they're like, hi! It's so funny. So I love that part. Um, so <laughs> the appliances pretend to be nice to them, but then throw them out the window into a dumpster, and then the dumpster gets dumped immediately into a garbage truck. So their TV friend, who used to be at the cottage, but the people moved it to the apartment in New York City, or wherever city this is, mm-hmm. um... He sees all this happen and is really sad. So when the master comes back, he makes a couple like fake TV commercials to try to get him to go to this disposal yeah, place. Yeah, because he saw the name of the disposal company yeah. on, on the truck when it came to pick it up. Thank so God. he knows. Really? Okay. New title for the movie is The Brave Television, television. Set. It's old TV is the MVP. That's he, all there is he, to if it. If it wasn't for him, they'd all be dead. All yeah. dead. And it's so great. Like, all, So he's like just listening to them and basically anything, everything <laughs> they're saying, he's like countering by making like a little commercial for it. And he's this like funny looking like little short bald man with like a big no, bulbous nose and like a mustache. And he's like so cute. I, yeah, I have many he's questions so though. Like is he the only thing that's ever on that television No, set? because remember they changed the channel and it was like like but uh, isn't the, the guy Spanish like why is channel? it always on this channel with this guy like I I it's know. an old tv <laughs> i mean why is the radio like always that same guy <laughs> why is, why is the radio, radio john, john lovitz, lovitz. <laughs> exactly. i'm sick of it um yeah so he finally convinces them to go so they take a drive to the disposal place which is just a junkyard and they're like this, this is kind of weird this doesn't look like <laughs> ernie's amazing emporium of best buys and but Radio Shack. They I'm give just, it a shot. I'm <laughs> like really inspired. I would be like, hell no. <laughs> and then get out of there. I'm like, I'm not going to a junkyard. Don't believe really everything nuts. you see on TV, guys. So the junkyard's pretty fucking scary because there's this evil maniac magnet that is ruling the place. There seems to be no adult, no it's humans, <laughs> no humans running this junkyard. It's just a magnet that decides what thing to crunch it's up like a in the rogue thing. killer magnet. It sucks. He's, he's so doing his scary. own thing. And he makes like a magnet sound, which is like. Mm. <laughs> um, so the appliances are like trying to get away from that. And then the the guy, the master comes and he's like walking around and he sees this little picture on the ground. And he picks it up, but it's himself as a child. So they, they had been they right. uh, at the beginning of the movie. They had like the little blanket carries around that picture. And the ma- the vacuum got so mad because they didn't think he was coming back. They sucked the picture in like to his mouth and then they're fighting over it and then he spits it out and it breaks in like a million pieces mm-hmm. and so there's it's not under a frame anymore so little blanket takes it out and on the mission they carried that with them the whole way just to like you know give them some like you know incentive and to have them keep going because they're like gotta find the master gotta find the master so blanket held on to that to the very end but then they got sucked like put mm-hmm. onto the belt and they're ready they're about to get crushed and he lets it fly and it flies right down to the master's it's like so on poetic. the master's feet and he's, he's stepping on it and he picks his foot up and he's like, why the fuck is there a picture of me from t- third grade in this dump? <laughs> he's, can you imagine He's that? so freaked out. He's like, Chris? <laughs> like, can you imagine you're yeah. in this random dump much like, and some childhood picture of you shows up? I mean, I'm like, so is weird. someone about to kidnap it's me? Weird. <laughs> it reminds me of that time we were at a thrift, like the Salvation Army and I was looking at the jeans and I swear to God, my jeans from like ninth grade in high school were on that rack. And what? I was like, I swear to God, these are my jeans. 
same size. Like I couldn't. No, that was, was like the time I saw my old car at the mall. Right. Remember that? Or when your earring was smushed in the con- in the in the pavement, <laughs> and we would walk and <laughs> see it and be walk. like, "It's your earring." <laughs> oh my god! Where was that? Oh, in, in Brookline, <laughs> College Corner. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh man, that was good times. Um, <laughs> so anyway, so he's like walking down the belt, and he's like, "Hey, this looks like my old blanket." And he's like, I think it is my old blanket. And then the radio comes and the lamp and the vacuum. And he's like, this is great, Chris. And then the magnet, the fucking magnet comes back, is so mad that it sucks everything up, including a human being, drops it on the belt and is about to crush everything to death when the toaster saves the fucking day and jumps into the gears, makes it stop. Sweetie's choked. <laughs> Sweetie's crying. She just was got so emotional. She sacrificed her life and she was so... Let's see machine again. And she was so scared and she... She did, climbed up to the top of the cars and was so scared. She didn't want to do it. She didn't want to do it, but she knew she had to. She knew she had to save him. So she did. And she gets like totally mangled. Oh my God. But it's named. It's okay though, because the master is kind of a architect slash mechanic. Yeah, he's a question Mr. mark. He's, he's just a big question mark to me. Um, and he fixes the toaster and everything is good as new. And he takes them all to college with him where he's obviously the most popular kid on yeah. the floor because he has a vacuum. I mean, just for the record, you are not allowed toasters in college. That's so true. Rob, <laughs> you are allowed a microfridge and that's it. <laughs> a microfridge, yeah. Nothing cool. Yeah. No hot plates, no coffee pots. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry, Sorry. Rob. Yeah, but that's the flick, and it's fucking adorable and sweet, and I love it. Yeah, I mean, you after seeing this, first of all, you're never gonna look at appliances again. Oh, I feel the so same bad. Way, right? I, I threw away my alarm clock yeah. like two weeks ago, and mm. I was watching this, and I was like, oh my god! And you had that alarm clock forever. I've had that since you I were was, its master. I know. I've had it since I was like in sixth grade. Yeah. And funny story about that alarm clock is there's like a been a nine volt battery like plugged into this alarm clock since I got it when I was like in sixth grade. <laughs> and I was like talking to somebody and I was like, could you believe this battery has been working since I was in the sixth grade? It's like a miracle. And somebody was like, oh, isn't it plugged into the wall? And I was like, oh, <laughs> I get it. That's your backup battery, just it's like how the radio I figured said. Out how, uh, you know, electricity works. Power, I get it. I if get the it power now. goes out, you have the backup. But, um, Pretty yeah, sure that battery died like ten years ago. Yes, <laughs> it did. Yes, it did. Um, yeah, so never looking at appliances the same again. Though mm, I don't really throw up appliances that much. I certainly don't like get them fixed though. I mean, once it's dead, it's like it's over. I think that's an old school thing. To also, I've never met a toaster that's lasted longer than yeah. like two years. Right. They have like a really short lifespan. Um, vacuum, depending on how much you use it. Also, if it's good. Lamps a good vacuum. last forever though. I've had a lamp. The same lamp for like long. Not if your cat knocks it off the table and breaks it. Yeah. But lamps, I feel like, can last forever because you're just changing that bulb. So, like, that's Mm. when you can have a wow. Radios, that's one, like, obviously, you and your radio. Yeah, but the thing with that is that, like, the style changes so much, right? Like, toasters, not as much. Vacuums, same basic deal unless you get like an iRobot vacuum yeah. but that was like a cool vintage old radio that he had so I feel like right. that was almost so, like yeah, he the probably aspect wouldn't throw that, that away but like electric blankets no way those last like a season they're not good <laughs> mine's already dying oh, I just no. bought it a couple months ago remember we had that old ass heating pad yeah. that was like from the 70s oh my god and it had that same well, kind of knob anything out right like, we had they're, a lot they, of old they appliances are the master. and stuff they're the master. which I think people do because like and especially that generation probably too like if it if it ain't broke don't fix it yeah don't fix it like keep like it there's we kind of have a little bit more of a sense of keeping because technology is now changing so fast and we want to like keep up with everything that that's like you do get new stuff Mm -hmm. but i think there was a time when people like just fix stuff and and you kept it and and actually i will say probably much better made as well do you remember stuff is just is like shit now when our vacuums were good do you remember i mean everything's made overseas it's plastic we had like it's not the same vacuum like our whole lives when we were kids and like they would mom and dad would bring it to the vacuum store to fix it if it was on the fritz uh which is not a apparently guys vacuum repair shops still still yeah. exist my when dad my friend's dad owns them. earlier we alluded to our vacuum <laughs> that broke after sweetie sucked up too much cat litter 
I could have brought that to the vacuum store, yeah. but I was like, pers- human to human contact? No, thank you. And I just chucked it out and bought a new one. So, you know, well, sign of the times. Sign of the vacuums times. vacuums do cost like a lot of money. That's like true. that That's Mealy true. one or whatever yeah. mom and dad had was like, it's like hundreds of dollars. But it's interesting how like when they did the parallel between like the new and the old stuff in his apartment in New York City, yeah. and they did like the stand-up vac, which is what Kirby was, and then the ones that is like two pieces, and how... It just dawned on me, like, wow, I haven't seen a stand-up vac like in forever, like that. I know they still have them, even like modern day. The one ones. you broke was a stand-up vac. Oh, you're right. <laughs> oh, that was a piece of shit. And it like, yeah, <laughs> and then it would like stop working, and the only way that I could get it to work was using the like the the hose, like, yeah. or maybe this was a different one, but it was like the hose, but it was like with the brush attached yeah. to it, and I would just like be on my hands and knees, like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so like a whole run. It was so fruitless. Like, made the job harder. <laughs> like, it did you not know. help you vacuum at all. It made awful. it like worse. It was awful. Um, <laughs> oh, vacuums. Yeah. Um, but yeah, appliances. But, and I, I was thinking in that scene too with the new versus the old appliances that like it's interesting because actually a lot more of the newer appliances are passe and like we don't use them anymore mm-hmm. versus <clears throat> all the old ones that like still exist today. Exactly. Yeah. And I was like, huh, that's a testament to yeah. that. I mean, I just think they were they were better made, like they were supposed to last longer. I don't know. Like I just think we just kind of had shit they stuff had now. Like, what was that thing that was like, it looked like an old school computer processor, like a huge stand-up system with the two like No, that was things? recording, some sort of music video recording thing. thing. Okay. Yeah. That thing's or video long player. gone. Sorry, yeah. buddy. Yeah, like he had all this like, you know, new tech and from New because he's in New York, he's in this like fancy apartment. But like the lamp was busted looking. I'm like, who want that fat purple lamp? It was the mom's <laughs> lamp. She's like, you can take my stuff. Oh, that's like, why. I your stuff, okay. mom. Yeah, I was, um, I was not into that lamp. No, I mean, you all those things lamp. are. You, you were very mean to him right um, away. Well, f- at first I'm like, is he another villain? Because I remember them being like kind of mean to them. And then I was like, oh, should I like not hate him? But then he was <laughs> the woes of sweetie. <laughs> my my arc of like liking or not liking this character. <laughs> I don't like you. Should I not like him? You're bad. All I have to say is that fucking the other lamp with the lips and the weird teeth yeah. is so upsetting to me. I think that was based on enough, some other character, a real person character. Like the the evil air conditioner was Jack Nicholson. I that like was somebody. See that in my dreams yeah. and cry. It's like gross. it's disgusting. There's some really scary parts. Yes. To this okay. Movie. Yes. So so many scary parts. The first one. There is a terrifying nightmare sequence, which I read in the trivia. They were like. They wanted to take this out because it was deemed too scary. Nobody knows why it's still in the movie today. <laughs> so I'm like, what? So the little toaster is having a snooze in the woods. And he dreams back to this time when the master was little. And he used to do this thing where he would like make a funny face at the toaster. And then the toaster would pop the toast up. Like, oh, it's done. And the toast, the toast would be like, perfect. And everybody's happy. And then this black up. smoke starts coming out of the toaster. And he's like, oh, oh, no. And then it like turns into a hand and like strangles the master. And then there's this terrifying fucking clown with these like razor sharp teeth who's like, run away. Yeah, run away. <laughs> and what's weird is like, okay, this makes sense, right? Like, what would a toaster have nightmares about? Burning toast. Yeah. Yes. Another thing, which is like kind of funny, is like she's being dangled over a bathtub full of water. Like when you commit suicide by throwing a toaster into a bathtub, you know? So it's like that's what toasters are dream of because that's like their worst fears. <laughs> Being but like, like chased by force. Why a scary clown? Why a scary clown? I I mean, does sh- does the toaster even know what a clown is? Right. Probably not. No. Um, but it was it was really scary. Like that clown is it was, one of the scariest. Uh, it was things like Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I've clown. ever seen. It was maybe scarier than the Pee Wee's yeah. Big Adventure clown, which I am so on big, record and saying like in your is the scariest clown. Yes. So this is the new scariest clown. So that part was scary. Um, the the lamp with the lips, obviously terrifying. Um, the city apartment appliances I found to be a little spooky mm-hmm. just because they're so like the song they sing is kind of creepy and then they like literally push them out the window like yeah. they're psychopaths murderers basically and then the last thing is the the big magnet in the junkyard scary I just yeah. hate the like sound it makes and it like looms <sighs> and when it like he just is so it, angry like, melts its eyes bat- so it like pretends it doesn't have eyes yeah. to like get the, the master mm-hmm. and you're like <gasps> Ugh, and he's just got a, got a mind of its own, you know? He's like a real motherfucker. Scary. Um, but yeah, those are any other scary parts I missed? Um, 
No, I don't think so. I okay. think that's it. Um, okay, so let's go over quickly the, and then I'll ask you a question about it. But let's go over the main characters, the main appliances, okay. right? And like a little bit of their personalities. So obviously you have the toaster, very brave. Um, he, she, very sweet. Um, like we said, clearly closest to the master. Has a pretty good relationship with all of them. And is basically like the group cheerleader, let's say. Mm-hmm. Keeps them going when times get tough. Even though he, she has some bad moments as well. I mean, she gets some lows. You know, she has some highs. But she's kind of always like the one pushing everyone along. Um, next, uh, the... Blanket? Blanket. (laughs) (laughs) You're trying to like give me signs of like nothing. You weren't even mouthing what I should say next. So I just picked one. Um, The blanket is a little electric blanket and it's basically a child. I believe it seems like it's voiced by an actual six year old. Um, And he's very sweet and little. He's always crying and everyone's very mean to him and I don't understand why. He's sweet as a as can be he's obviously in the sweetie club yeah. and everyone's like get out of here you rag yeah <laughs> like, they're so what? mean and then there's this really sweet scene though where like and i think it's after the toaster rejects this flower because the flower like thinks that she's a flower the toaster is a flower because he can see the reflection and the toaster rejects the flower and is like it's just a reflection like bug and, and then the little flower just like droops and one of its petals falls off so then she walks away and it just keeps looking over her shoulder and feeling like really bad about treating like the little flower badly so she comes back and like is so sweet to blanket for the rest of the time and lamp is like why are you sweet to blanket <laughs> what's with you and blanket yeah what's with you i mean it's like gets like really deep like he's like trying to like psychoanalyze her like what's that why are you, why are you so nice to blanket now huh you never used to be nice to blanket um so then she tells this whole thing about how being nice to someone like makes her feel all warm inside and i mean i think that's like a teaching moment for kids like don't pick on people mm. Also, he's a toaster, so <laughs> he should feel warm inside. I know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a scene where like they're all in the woods. It's cold. And the blanket wants to snuggle up with somebody. Yeah. And nobody fucking wants him to. And I'm like, hello, you're cold and in the woods. Why wouldn't you want to snuggle up with an electric heated blanket? Yeah. Like, please, give me a break. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the blanket. Next. Um, the vacuum Kirby. Kirby. So Kirby is a curmudgeon. Kirby Ooh. the curmudgeon. He has a very tough exterior, but really soft and like loves all these little uh, other appliances, but can't show it. So, and I put this down as one of my really sad scenes where he has his little meltdown. And mm. so like, he's like, they're about to go with the waterfall and he kind of like fritzes out. I don't know if he's like freaked out about the water or something. Yeah, seems like it. Yeah. So he basically has like a panic attack and meltdown and then they like kind of get him back to life and like he wakes up and it's like all the, they're all there like smiling like, <laughs> yay. Like, like it's like we yeah. love you. Like we're, we're so happy, so and he flips at them. Is like I don't like you. Like this and that. Like it's so mean to them, and they're just like. And I think they're kind of like, well, that's just Kirby. But at the same time, I was like, <laughs> that's mean. But then he quickly redeems that by yeah. saving them all. They but, all fall into. And the I water. love how that happens because yeah. you think that he's just gonna run away. <laughs> it was a cinematic movie moment yes. for me, for sure, for sure. Because yes. I was like, what do you mean he's running away? He's not gonna run away. And then he jumps off. He jumps off to join um, them and save them he's like yeah yeah get off of me it's like one of those yeah there's i love that kind of character that like always my hard yeah but like actually yeah. likes them but like doesn't want to admit it right. yeah curbs 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 um next is lamp which is kind of like a that like, kinda, uh, like a comedian kind of guy like always cracking jokes always doing light puns and lamp puns um seems to be generally well liked but might be annoying to some um kind of know it all yeah has always know-it-all, plans has plans that don't work um yeah it's kind of it's kind of all it's all he's got he gets struck by lightning as yep, he so said sacrifices himself um but still alive just needs a new bulb and i almost and, thought like <laughs> when that scene happened and he's like so busted and burnt yeah. and gross um you think he's like a goner yeah and like dead. And then, like, so the next scene is them, and they're all in the chair, but it's kind of from afar, and it doesn't look like he's on the chair. And I was like, <laughs> no, because I couldn't remember. But I was like, I don't remember one of the appliances dying. Right. And then he pops up, like, all burnt and cracked, and yeah. it's like, yay! Yeah. I had yeah. such a good, like, reaction sweet. to that. Last? Uh, radio. 
So the radio is like uh, in an old timey sort of 1930s radio, and that's his persona, right? Mm-hmm. So he's like, it's voiced by John Lovitz, which is uh, sound he's does great in it, um, and does basically all these funny little radio announcements to go along with things. He's sort of leading the way because he has some sort of directional with his like antenna, but then he's also very much steeped in like the Roosevelts and like the Depression and stuff like that. Which, so there's all this like weird he didn't talk seem about that. that old of a radio, like <laughs> I think did. It's the 30s what? I'm guessing I don't know but, but he kind of annoys me most of the yeah. time like I'm kind of like he has she just like goes on way too long and I think this is like the primary reason why I didn't like John Lovitz when I was a little <laughs> kid and I only until recently like was like I like John Lovitz but now re- watching this yeah. I'm like this is definitely the reason why I didn't like definitely. him for so long because I hated the annoying. radio um, but yeah so and, who's your favorite appliance then um, well definitely the blanket okay I just think always just like so fucking cute and mm-hmm. like I can't stand it. And, and like, like right. I was always nice to people and also never gave up. Yes. Really. Like she, really. Maybe she, it should be called the brave yeah. little blanket. Yeah. I mean, you just want to give it to everybody <laughs> else but the toaster. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Crazy. I'm, not, I'm not into it. I'm not into <laughs> the toaster. I'm into it. Um, yeah. So as Sweetie said, there is like a sweet little soundtrack to this. So they did like a couple little original Disney songs not like sure they totally had to be there. I mean, it would have cut the movie down a little bit if they kind of like ripped out those songs, which I think they could have. But it starts with um, Little Richard, this great Little Richard song. Um, Tutti Frutti, yeah. Oh, Luna. Tutti Frutti, oh, Luna. Wait, what do you think the line is? Tutti Frutti, what? <laughs> you say what you think, and I'll say what I think, and they'll both be wrong and hilarious. <laughs> it's not like words, they're so- <laughs> sounds that I do. <laughs> sounds, sounds do it like, again <laughs> are we singing it together <laughs> no you're doing your version and I'm doing mine okay so tutti, fr- tutti frutti oh Rudy tutti frutti mm Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> Not, that's not <laughs> words. Switch it up. I always thought I just I did O Rudy like okay. the whole time. Like I didn't know that he like switched it up. So. I don't think he does. I might have just done that. I don't know them. <laughs> we'll see. We'll find yeah, out. We'll, we'll Google those. But yeah. So and that sort of like sets it up for them being sort of like old fashioned appliances, I guess. And that like their song to like jam out to is Little Richard. So I think that sort of like sets yeah. the stage that they're maybe like a little behind the times, but still work really well, just like Little Richard. Um. So that's kind of funny and then they kind of move on to more modern songs to the point like one almost sounded like a disco kind of a song but yeah, yeah so like an abba song yeah like an abba song so the okay so that then there's a song of them like walking through the forest being like yay like we're gonna do it we're so brave look at us and I couldn't hum that if i tried but very sweet and they're all kind of like singing along then there's this one about um all the little frankenstein appliances at the chop shop so that one is like what is the thing with that one they're like this is like a t- movie show like yeah the I, that's movie. the one i didn't i thought was the city one but, yeah. and then it I was like oh this is a different song but yeah they're like we're like creatures yeah so i think they're trying to compare all them kind of like to the movie frankenstein it's like it's like how you would see it in a movie like it's all these kind of like creepy mm. put together appliances all like chopped up in different parts so it's supposed to like scare them mm-hmm. um then it's the new technology appliances singing them this song that goes more 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 everything you would want and more <laughs> that may, not, may or may not be the tune and that one's pretty scary because again they're kind of like bullying them being like just like creepers and then our favorite the old car song right which is i guess maybe called worthless mm-hmm. um and all the cars go and sing and it, it's sweetie and i were singing it before but it's the like I was in the Indy 500. <laughs> so like, and I can never pat, and I've seen those a couple times, those sort of like um, dumps, mm-hmm. places where people just have old cars and they really do have those magnets that toss them into like a thing that yeah. crushes them down into scrap metal, right? But not into teeny little cubes. No, no, no. Uh, but I when I cannot go by those and not, not like think of this movie. But anyway, so like, he's picking up each individual car and it's really interesting because each individual car has a story which almost is like what happens in cars the animated Pixar Whoa. film yeah. wow wow um, so they all have like a little story so right there's a race car um, there's a car that uh, I once took a Texan to a wedding it has mm-hmm. like a big almost limousine with like these car- uh, cattle horns uh, once drove a man to a graveyard a hearse 
Um, one of a truck that was on an Indian reservation. That one was super dark yeah. and bleak. Like, hello? Yeah. One that was a like surfing, those like woody wagons yeah. those in California. So there's all these like references to California. I mean, it's really cool. And if you like listen to the lyrics, they're like, yeah. I so really the, like the suicide one is, um, I can't take this kind of pressure. I must confess one more dusty road would be just a road too long. Oh. So that's what happens. Yeah, that's what they say. Yeah, but it's yeah, it's such a great song, and it goes on for a while. But it's like them all trying to like run away from the magnet thing. So it like takes some time to, and they have some time to like show all the cars. So yeah. I love that song. I know it's so, it's good. so good. Like gotta download that. Yeah. Gotta download that in my playlist. Da, 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 da. You're worthless. Um, worthless. So we talked a little bit about Chris, the girlfriend. Yeah. So she's like a pretty cool chick. She has like this awesome little convertible car, but we think she's a lesbian. And we think that because she's sporty, which yes, is a blanket. Yeah. I mean, there's a generalized is a blanket. <laughs> Don't say that's too confusing. Don't use that word. <laughs> like, blanket she's term. A blanket. Blanket term. Yeah. Um <laughs> and I just what was the other thing? Oh, when they're at the junkyard, she like gets super excited. She's like, "Look, Rob, these are super rare!" And she like pulls <laughs> off the like car grate, so she's obviously a gearhead, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right? I mean, it, she just—I mean, she's a little tomboyish. She wears like a baseball cap. She wears like a little a boy a tank top. I don't know. It it just <laughs> struck me as I don't think it's gonna last between Rob and Chris. I'm just saying. Also, her name, her is, name Chris. is Chris. <laughs> I mean. Come on, let's 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 put it two and two together here. She dumps him in college for a girl. I'm just totally. saying that's what yeah, happened. Sorry, Rob. So. But Rob so. is adorable. Rob is he'll so find sweet. he'll pick up someone like this. He seems really sweet. Yeah. Someone who also appreciates uh, antique toasters. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So that's cool. But I did, I always thought Chris was like pretty cool chick too. And I used to watch this. I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna grow up to be like Chris someday. Oh, <laughs> baseball <me>. caps. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yes. Anything else? Um, let's see. What are my other notes on this page? Um, oh, I love how one of my favorite things about this movie is how they become inanimate so quickly. Mm. Like I love when a, a human comes and they have to go back to being like yeah, uh, which is also, and yeah. then like one little eye will pop mm. up or which like which is also a very Toy Story yeah. thing. Like right. we saw that a lot there. Where and, they just and just like what I love about movies like this is that it was like so fun to watch because you're looking for how, basically how creative they were mm. because they had to think up all these ideas once they the appliances turn into animate objects how to make them look like people right so like the toaster's little knobs that you push you know mm -hmm. you push down the little levers to make the toast go up and down or her little hands which like look like little mitts after a while um you know the way the the radio uses the antenna the way blanket kind of like manipulates himself all the time to like turn into it's interesting things. though that the radio doesn't really have a face like yeah. i know he has that dial but like as opposed to like the the blanket has yeah. actual eyes that like come out of the thing but like he doesn't get any of that no. so it's interesting yeah but and like and then when they go to the chop shop and then it's like all the appliances are built from other appliances so you had like a coffee percolator with like forks for hands like all that kind of stuff um i just thought that was so cool it must have been like so fun to animate and like mm. come up with yeah. that creative process and then obviously like all the appliance puns that we've talked about like all the jokes like so good like i just thought that was like the creativity of this movie is just like off the charts, which, which turns into like once they end up doing Pixar, like that's kind of the same thing, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my God, like how do people think of this stuff? So cool. Um, I wrote down that I think Blanket is the saddest character in the history of cinema. I'm just going to throw <laughs> that out there. Um, adorable and sad and the little expressions that dial makes. Oh my God. It's just, it's just too like much for cries me. so easily and I'm just I like, know. is he, he's definitely a baby, right? Like a yeah, literal it's a big baby. baby. It's a big baby. Um, yeah. And that's all I got other than to have a quick chat about the toasters we had growing up. <laughs> well, I'm curious as to why he stopped going to the cottage in the summer. Because, yeah. like, I feel like if it was a family thing, like, he would keep going through high school, right? Yeah. I don't know why, why he hadn't been stop? there for a couple years. Yeah. But I don't know. Maybe, like, someone got sick. Like, his dad wasn't there. Maybe his dad died. I mean, God, do you need a prequel? The dark coming. Do you need a prequel? I don't know. Maybe one of these sequels is about that. I don't know. No, I think there's, there's like 10 brand little know. toaster it's sequels. Just, it, it really came about much later, the popularity of this yeah. movie. Yeah, so I remember we had two toasters We growing up. We had one that was like similar to the little toaster, brave little toaster, like a simple yeah. one, right? But then, just like in this movie, we re-upped we re with the toaster oven, 
like later and then we had that toaster oven hmm. but maybe we also had a slot toaster yeah, too we had both I okay think. i don't remember using the toaster oven a lot like i wasn't well versed in toaster ovens when yeah. i got to college and i felt like i was really underprepared um I don't remember our family toaster. <laughs> I think we we had one Didn't that was like just two tr- slots, quadruple? but then yeah, then we yeah. got the one with many many slots. I remember that seems like such a dad thing to do. Yeah. Be gotta like, make Man, toast. I gotta, gotta make toast. toast for the whole family. We gotta get the eight slaughter. Um, yeah, I agree. And like you know what, I I'm gonna confess right now. I do not have a toaster at the moment. Um, I have to toast my fucking toast in the. You should get one. You love going to Target. Just I know. Get one. I've looked at them. And like, I also really need a new coffee maker because this is pretty sketchy. But like, in my old apartment, when I lived by myself on that kind of creepy apartment, whoever was the previous tenant was left a coffee maker. So I just like kept using it. It's not that weird. It seems I used really the ice old. cube tray that was here, like when I moved in. Yeah, but I, I cleaned like, it out really knew well. The girl, like I but... we met that the girl who lived yeah. here, and I still see her. She no, lived I think people who lived so there before like, me eh, she's were okay. like creepers. Yeah, so probably. I'm like, I should I shouldn't use that. They're probably like, cooking meth in it. Yeah, and there might be meth. Yeah, there might be something in that. But yeah, I, I've been desperate to get a toaster. So what kind am I going to get? I'll get you one for your birthday. It'll change my life. Here's what I have to do now. Birthday I have to toaster? put on the oven and then toast my bread in the oven, which I always forget about. So then it burns <laughs> or I leave the oven on. Sad life. <laughs> Sad <laughs> life. But I'll mean, I'll get, I'll get you one for your birthday. Birthday toaster. Oh, I want a dress. What? Yeah. Right. Um, I haven't been shopping for six months. I know. Things. I guess you deserve one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know. I know. Um, but yeah, guys, movie is adorable. Again, unfortunately, hard to get. Mm, um, yeah, you can't on YouTube. Yeah, but yeah. the quality was good. And you could yeah, watch so it from there if you have like the the get it while it lasts because I know they they usually take those kinds of things off YouTube yeah. pretty frequently. So get get it or while just buy a DVD, DVD of this because it's property. adorable and I think you could show this to kids yeah. from now until think, forever. Yeah, and I think they'd still they like would it. love it. Yeah, because it's just so sweet. Yeah, like, and it's engrossing enough for adults and and appliances stupid. haven't changed that much, so it's not out of right, date that's yet. What I'm saying like they're all don't we wait, all still don't wait till like twenty. 45 when we were might like they were like let's toasters. use this dust buster in the movie and then everyone's like what is there that probably was a dust buster like in his new apartment i wonder and we probably, missed it probably missed it yeah and this little quaint item from the <laughs> 1980s a dust buster we had a so dust many buster. back to the future quotes just coming out of That's coming weird. out of the mouth it's today um it's the one um so yeah good times good times so do you guys like the brave little toaster do you want to tell us about any of your appliances growing up come find us fascinating talk chatter about, about appliances sweetie we are at the sweetie club what on kind of twitter toaster did you have <laughs> i have a toaster i still have a toaster that i bought when i moved into yeah, this apartment it's still going strong um there's a, there's a point in every toaster's life where it stops toasting well and it like you turn it up to like five and it's just like not you know because the My coils God, they like you burn go to the toaster graveyard i mean i'll keep mine around now because i'm not i'm Are not gonna keep get it, rid of anything now keep it around and paint eyes on it and be know. like yeah i'd like to know i'd like to know what the personality of like the litter box is oh that's that's not that's, that's not, an, not appliance. an appliance you're right it's but if you in. had a an electric one that like scoops it for you maybe that would be something sure would hate um, its life i know it'd be like, like cat poop all day <laughs> like a cat poops in my mouth all day <laughs> oh my God. it tastes like shit because it is oh my god i have a terrible fucking life. <laughs> you sound like Phoebe Buffay singing bad <laughs> songs from French. French. <laughs> Good one. Um, smelly cat, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? <laughs> Anyways, yeah. Also, hey, find us on Instagram at Large Marge Sent Us. Um, thanks, guys, for listening through our weird tangents. We love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.